start recording. Now we wait for our shits to pop up there. Shits popped up there. Hey, hey. <laughs> she. Ah. My ass. Alright, let's fucking hope to God that our audio levels are crisp as hell. So, uh. Pretty good. Cool. Great. Awesome. It's pretty good. We are fucking balling out. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a Road to Hell podcast. We talk about everything from hell and way back. I don't know how it goes. How does it go? Say it. You, guys, <laughs> you make it sound good. Welcome to the Road to Hell podcast, where me and my friend talk about everything from hell and back. My name is Gianni Gonzalez. My name is Mila DeCletto, and this is the first episode. We have no idea what we're going to name the episodes. I don't think we're going to have names for them. I think we're just going to do Unless episodes. we have, like... Topics. Yeah, topics or, like, guests that we would Word, have. yeah. Word. Um, yeah, so uh, there's going to be a lot of bad things that we probably say and do. Or not do, I mean... Like We're going to talk about some bad shit that we have done. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's like the main thing here. Uh, we don't know how long this podcast will run for. Um, I'm hoping for an hour. I don't want to go longer I think, than an hour. I please. think we could talk for an hour. We could talk for fucking 10 we if we really wanted to. We could fucking talk forever. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we could fucking talk forever. But yes, first episode. Um, main thing on the list. What's like the main topic here today? Uh... We didn't get to establish things we can't talk about. True. So, True. we're just gonna... I like how it says... <laughs> Voice acting, horse racing, cash game, fishing. <laughs> English IRL. <laughs> so, I put uh, the talk show category in the podcast category. And then for tags, I just put the most random... Shit horrible, ever. Yeah, just random shit in the tags. We should have put shit... Um, that people like to listen to things while they're doing. Like, fishing's a good one. Fishing, like, like horse racing? Horse, yeah, of course. That's a good one. People We're going like, to talk about horse like girls. Listening to, oh, we'll talk about horse girls. <laughs> yeah, if you want. I'm good off that. Um, we're not a political podcast, so don't ask us political fucking questions, because we don't care. He takes political uh, science and, and it, that's his degree or something, whatever. So and ask him, is, ask as much political questions no, as you can. don't. I fucking hate politics. Don't do that shit. I think everyone's a fucking moron. Don't do that shit to me. Um... Yeah, we talk about anything. We'll uh, find some topics and just go off on them. Doesn't fucking matter. Um. <laughs> Why your face look like that, man? Why your face look like that? But um, I gotta take the glasses off for this one. Yeah. How we look? We look good. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> I think we look okay. <coughs> Please don't cough to the mic, sir. Our audio listeners are going to be upset. I guess I could leave the video in, too, if like we're posting to YouTube or something. I'm joking over here. Drink water. <coughs> water made me choke. You drink more of it. <coughs> two viewers, baby. Two viewers. All right. Oh, fuck. So, uh... Gianni's choking to death, first off. I'm fucking... I'm fucking choking. Yeah, he's, he's already gone. <laughs> beat the fucking bricks out of All me. All right, Road to Hell has been canceled. <laughs> it's over. Fucking beat the bricks out of me. First that episode water, ever bro. is gone. <clears throat> Do you have a list of shit? Um, Did you type down a list? No. You didn't type... Oh. I just have, like, a bunch of shit. I right, just bro. typed a list right now, bro. All right, what, so, like, let's do the first thing. Let's establish what we, like, shouldn't be talking about. What's, like... The politics. New... We're not going to talk politics. Okay, yeah, no politics. No thanks. We're not going to talk politics. I'm not politics. even smart enough to talk about politics. I'll just be stupid the whole time. And I, I don't care about it, so... <clears throat> that's one. Who do you like more, Joe Biden or the president? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you like more, Trump or Joe Biden? <laughs> what are you doing? Joe Biden is here right now, bro. Hey, baby. Take me out to dinner. Hey, yo! Hey, yo. We can talk about memes for sure. Yeah, without a doubt. We can talk about some good-ass memes. TikTok. And in editing and shit, I'll find them and I'll like put them when we talk about them. You know, I'll make it easy for the people. Yeah, we kind of just want to talk about the things that uh, this podcast is about. That's all we're going to do for a couple minutes. And then we'll uh, get into some random shit. Yeah, Road to Hell is a very good name for our podcast because we are both on the way to hell as we speak. This is... 
I'm about 30 seconds from dying every day of my life. So as soon as he wakes doesn't... up, he's just on his way out, no matter yeah. what time of day it is. We could talk about the fucking... The uh, herniated the... Yeah. The herniated we could talk nuts. about... We could talk about lot. injuries. I think that'd be funny. You know, some of yeah. like, the worst injuries yeah. we've had. Okay. Yeah. Um, we could start off with that. We could start off with that. Um, basically, no politics. Don't ask about current events, because we don't fucking know. Yeah, I know, I just don't want to fucking talk about it. We don't, I don't pay attention to it. We don't care. Yeah, so sure. anything that's controversial in the world, Any don't talk to us. Any way, state, or form. Yeah, don't, don't talk to us about don't it. Don't talk to us about it, please. Because we'll, uh, we'll just say the worst shit ever and piss people off, because that's the objective that we have. And we'll do it on purpose, too. We'll do don't, that shit Don't on get purpose. us wrong. We will do it on purpose. <laughs> Whatever you believe, we'll just say the exact opposite of that shit. <laughs> just bro. to make you. Just to piss you off. That's my tactic in college. Every time a professor asks me a question, I'm like, yeah, this is what I think. And I think everyone here is a fucking moron. And then they'll just go, that's terrible. And I'm like, motherfucker, shut up. Leave me alone. Stop asking me questions then. Do you look like I give a fuck? <laughs> Do you look like I give a fuck? <laughs> fucking Greg Jennings. Yeah, damn. Um. Oh, my God. Talk about. By the way, for any new viewers, we're in the state of California, so just yeah. letting that be known. That Should we give we a little background on ourselves? The worst politics ever here. Should we give a little background on ourselves? Gun control is complete garbage. Sorry. <laughs> it's just stupid shit. Sorry, <laughs> I'm already going off on politics. Shit. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Don't bring that shit around me. California's bro. horrible. Um, a little background on ourselves. My name is uh, Gianni Gonzalez. I was born and raised in Stockton, California. Uh. One of the worst cities in the five United years in a row, baby. Five years in a row. One of the worst states in the California history. Five yeah. years in a row. One of the worst cities in America. Um, we were on the top twenty-five worst cities in America. Mm -hmm. We love it. We love it. Um, a lot of drugs, a lot of guns, a lot of murder, and a lot of gangs. No gay people though. Huh? I think I gay people in Cal You meet anyone in Stockton, California, bro. I, you mean, they got Samoans, they got black people, they got Mexicans, they got fuck, any, we're the most diverse city in America. The most, number one. Is there a thing, because you know how like every culture has like a certain type of dish of food? Mm -hmm. You know, is there like a gay food? You know what I mean? Like a dish that like gay people make? Like, you know, all right. Spotted all right. dick. Spotted, you never heard of that? Spotted no. dick? It's awful. It's shit British people eat. It's Ooh. terrible. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, I eat a lot of food, but I don't know about spotted dicks. <laughs> I'm good off that, no thanks. Um, I don't know. That's a, that's well, a good point. You know what I mean, though? It's like you come to fucking gay people Kwanzaa or some shit, dude, you know? Gay and everyone's bringing like a potluck style Kwanzaa, you know? Gay people are what fancy. What do the gay people bring, dude? They bring fucking biscuits and tea from fucking Britain Well, they're not shit? British, but they're fancy. Oi, they oi like, kind. you know, they like that, the fancy shit, you know? Because they, I don't get know, why British people say that. crisps instead of fries. Chips. Because they're stupid. They're weird. <laughs> they're weirdos, bro. They're fucking dumb. How can you create a language and then speak the language wrong? It's crazy how that works. We're, we're gonna get stabbed we're, by some fucking <laughs> roadmen. We're fucking. We ever go we're to going Britain, to fucking we're hell. Fucking stabbed instantly. <laughs> yeah, fucking. They're retarded and stupid. Um, I do want to get a shout out to that one girl who told us to do this because I Snapchat her saying we were going to do this. Devin um, Devon. Devin. Devin. Did you give her the thing or what? Yeah. <clears throat> What's the thing? Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we're kind of just balling. Yeah, shout out, out to Devin from Illinois. Ew. Um, one of the baddest bitches I've ever Fish. seen. TV, so. no, on that. Not, no, but she was pretty, man. I know she got ass. I know she do. She still hasn't shown you? No. Damn. I don't want to see. <laughs> I have someone. So, I don't care to see. Oh, you do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a step up, huh? Yeah. Wow. I don't care to see. I ain't never heard this motherfucker say that before. I ain't never thought that was going to come out of his mouth. I don't care to see. Nor me. was I going to come in his mouth. So. <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't care to see. Yeah. Um. Should we talk about... We could kind of spill about Omegle a little bit. But, I mean, not like crazy amounts of it. But, you know. Yeah, basically, you know we I mean? just... Let's just... 
basically, let's just... Let's just, just, like, give the gist of it, not the full thing. We go on there and fuck around, and we find some random-ass motherfuckers, man. We find some random-ass... We find ass. some really, like, great people, and we find some really... Really awful-ass, horrible fucking people. Yeah, dude, like, out of probably, like, the hundred people that we meet a night at Omegle, it's probably, like... Seven seventy five percent of them are yeah. fucking just atrocious. <laughs> well, you mean like <laughs> horrible people, and like the twenty five percent is like you know they're pretty fucking great. Yeah, we'll meet great, like ten people guys. out of a hundred, and they'll be great ass people. People you want to like talk to, are just and the fucking <laughs> are disgusting, just the horrible worst ass, people. trifling, sniving, <laughs> shifty motherfuckers you've ever met in your life. Trifling ass motherfuckers. Horrible. Man. Oh, bro. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we'll meet some cool people. Um, we give shout outs on here. If we like you, we want you. <laughs> we can do it the I'm easy not, way. I'm not here for uh, kid booty. I'm here for no, man booty. I'm here for a man's butt. <laughs> man's no. butt? What do you mean by that? <laughs> see, I know all your shit, Chris Hansen. But see, now we call you Chris Hampson. Did I say that wrong? Hampson? Hampson? Handsome? 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 Chris Hansen? Chris. I remember when uh, Mondo thought Chris Hansen was Chris Kyle, the American sniper. <laughs> and he was like, I'm about to Chris Hansen this fool while we were playing fucking Warzone. And you were like, And I was like, Chris Hansen? Is he, is he fucking, fucking child predator? Just a touch of kids? What the fuck is going and on? He was like, No, I'm going to snipe him in the fucking head. And then he killed the dude, and he was like, I just Chris Hansen that fool dog. And I was like, No, like, no the fucking. Bro, uh... what are you talking about? He's like, The American sniper. I was like, It's Chris Kyle, you fucking idiot. <laughs> or when he thought Brazilian people spoke Brazilian. I was like, Bro. I'm out. I can't do this no more. Yeah, we need Mono on here, bro. He'll really send us to fucking I know, hell. I need, I need to get him as a guest. <coughs> Edgar's still on answering my calls. I'm kind of That's fine. That. That's fine. For the first one, we'll establish it. We'll establish it. <coughs> so, shout out to Devin. She gave us the idea. Devon. She's uh, from Illinois. She's cool. There ain't shit out in Illinois. Um... Except her, bro. So fuck it, man. <laughs> Except her. <laughs> She's the only person alone. in fucking Illinois. Alone. alone. And then that motherfucker's just in the background. Alone, bitch! <laughs> alone. Fuck, alone. man. But yeah, let's get into it, guys. Today we're going to talk about a lot of shit. We're going to talk about anime. We're going to talk about injuries. We're going to talk about fucked up shit that's happened to us. We'll talk about, we uh, can't spill like, everything in one episode, you know what I mean? Because we want shit to talk about next episode. No, it's only an hour fucking long. Yeah, I know, but... Or an hour and a half. I don't know how long you want to fucking go for, but I want to go for an hour, bro. Maybe a little bit over if like we start dicking around a little bit. You know what I mean? But okay, yeah, we, we're at thirteen minutes. We did about thirteen minutes of just sidetracking, and, and we were just fucking around. Yeah. yeah. All right, we get into it, bro. All right, question number one, Miguel. We're gonna be asking each other questions, so think of some. All right, bitch. What's what the co- what, what color your nipples? <laughs> what color your nipples, bro? What color your nipples? Um, what's your favorite color? Red. What color your nipples? What color your nipples. Um. All right. Why does the state of Florida look like that? <laughs> why it look busted yeah, as hell, why bro? Why Florida just look? You can look at it down. You you yeah, looking it at it at a map? You just be like, yeah, I still don't want to go there, yeah, bro. I still don't want to go there. I have a lot of funny questions. You know what I mean? Just why does Florida look like that, bro? <laughs> Motherfuckers be coming out of there busted, and they look like the state of Florida. It's like, yeah, we know where you're from, dog. You don't need to tell us. They go to the hospital being like, damn, I didn't think someone could he's get their fl- ass He's got Florida-itis, so bad. Florida-itis. He's got Florida-itis, dog. That Look fucking, it. that crocodile and meth-itis, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. Yeah, man, what's the, what, what's one of the most fucked up things you remember happening in your, in your, in my life? In your life, bro. In your life, bro. Give a give a give a quick spiel on some fucked up shit that's happened to you, bro. <laughs> there's a lot of things. I, I like know, there's a lot. Yeah, I've told you. I, I tell know. it like on Omegle, but I don't think I can tell it on you. Like when that girl. You can't tell chopped. that on here. I don't, I don't want to. Why not? You see, there's like other females. You want me to go first? No. Um, <laughs> fucked up thing. So it's kind of like an injury too, but it's also like a fucked up story. So uh. When I was like eight years old, I broke my wrist on a skateboard, right? Just, I tried to do something cool. And I went backwards and tried to put my hand out like a fucking idiot. And I snapped my wrist just completely, like, completely fucked. My wrist was the other way, like, fucking, you know what I mean? And, um, so I have, I have a cast on for like five or six months. I can't eat soup. I can't fucking <laughs> eat cereal, bro. It's horrible. It's fucking atro- atrocious. Atrocious time in my life, bro. I was depressed when I was eight years old. I get the cast off, right? And a week later, my grandma and grandpa are moving some furniture in the house. 
so they only have hardwood floors. And like a couple of my cousins are over and we're like kind of fucking around sliding on the floors and shit. My dumb ass goes running down the hallway at fucking full speed, dude. Slides from the end of the hallway into the living room and literally smacks the fucking brick, uh, uh, fuck, what is it called? The brick, uh, fireplace. <coughs> with my wrist, like this, wrist fucking snaps in the same place, bro. Literally had the class, like, I literally had the cast off for a fucking week. I got the ass beating of my life from my dad, <laughs> and then I went to the hospital right after. <laughs> my dad beat the shit out of me, and then took me to the hospital after. That was, that was a pretty horrible time in my life. Oh, my God. So, building on to having a broken wrist a week after having a cast for six months, I got my fucking ass handed to me, <laughs> beat the shit out of me, and then said, you're not going to tell anyone. And I said, okay. <laughs> my wrist is just backwards. Just yeah, Just backwards. <laughs> yeah. Beat the fuck out of me, and then took me to the hospital after. Fly. So that was pretty cool. What about you? Are we talking like? Cause I can. I have like current ones too. You know what I mean. Let's not do dark shit. Okay. Let's not do like it, oh obscene like you know what I mean like. Streaming on Twitch would get me in trouble type shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like none of the like, Stockton gang stuff that mm-hmm. has happened to me. Yeah. Let's not do any of that. Let's just do funny shit, right? Okay. Well, you got. You got popping a lung. Herniated testicle. <laughs> we'll go with my herniated testicle. Yeah, I don't testicle. even know what else. We'll go with my herniated testicle because it is what it is. And I think it I think it's funny. I like to tell this story. Busting in that in the hospital. I think I got gout, bro. <laughs> I think I got gout. I think I got that gout. No, um a couple a month ago. A month ago, I uh I was in the midst. Mitts. Mist? Mist? Mitts? I don't know, I'm not a what color your nipples, lit, bro? I'm not a lit lit major. What color I met nipples? some dude yesterday. It was a lit major, and he sounded like a fucking idiot. <laughs> he was like trying to use big doth, words. Doth bitch have? Yeah, and he was trying to use big shit. words like in a regular sentence. Oh yeah. And I would just look trying at him and be like, "Shut smart. the fuck up." Dude. You're like, bro, I don't even know what those mean. Just bitch, say you know, normal you know, shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna suck your balls backwards, bro. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna suck your shit backwards, bro. Um, uh, a month ago, I woke up, had a pain. And uh, you ever wake up and have to take a piss really badly? That's what I had to do. I woke up. Your dick's hard as fuck. <laughs> you wake up with morning wood. Yes. You wake up with a fucking African American dick instead of a white dick. What? No. I do all the time, bro. <laughs> I don't know why. It's crazy. You wake up with a dick in your mouth, bro. You're just like, God damn. Yeah, spend the Shit night crazy. more often. <laughs> no, I fucking woke up right with go take a piss, right? And you know how you that kind of tire where you kind of get your eyes closed to try and savor the tiredness so you could just fall right back to sleep? That's what I was doing, bro. I feel that. I went right in that bathroom. I, I fucking lift the lid up and I was like taking a piss, right? But then Deep I got this like... Some chicken. <laughs> Deep frying some chicken. In the you piss open. loud as fuck, boy. Yeah, you piss loud as hell. I like that. I woke up. I was leaning back. I felt this pain and I looked down. One of my nuts was three <laughs> times the size as my other one. And I... I thought I was fucking tired still. So I like looked up, I closed my eyes and went, this shit ain't real. This shit ain't real. And I looked There's down no again. no fucking way. Looked down again. No, that shit was real. I went, mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. Fucking <laughs> slam the toilet seat down because I'm respectable mm-mm. like that. <clears throat> fucking. Because uh, there's females in the house? Yeah. Close the toilet seat because there's girls in the house? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Why, yes, of course. Um, Bus over to the fucking hospital, right? Hella quickly. Nice ass doctor walks in. He's like, hey, man, I know how guys are with things like this. Don't worry You're about it. You're not going to die, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, Your don't worry. Fine. We're going to take a look. I'm going to give it a feel. We're going to see how it goes, bro. All right? Did he feel it? Yeah. Oh. Um, did he, like, lift? Okay. Hold on. Question. Did he lift your dick and then feel it, or did he just feel under the penis? He didn't feel it at this point yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He didn't feel it at this point yet. Okay, when he felt it, did he lift? Because when you get a physical, you know, they lift, and then they feel it. When you get fi- okay, when you were a kid, <laughs> when you were a kid, did you get jerked off by I the did doctor? A little, I did a little bit. When you were a kid, bro, <laughs> let me ask you a question, here, because this is a little fucking weird myself. My doctor used to grab the tip of my penis and then lift it up and then hold it like this on my. I don't know if you can see that, but like on my belly button type shit, and then feel my nuts, and then he'd let it go and it slap back onto my nuts. Every fucking year, because I had to get physical for sports, you know what I mean? Yeah. But every fucking year, he would lift my shit, and it would smack my nuts after. My... You never had that? No. Would he just literally feel under? Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. Or, I would lift my it myself. Oh, my doctor's a fucking menace, dude. 
My doctor's a piece of shit, bro. The motherfucker would. <laughs> Hey, let me let me feel. Let Doctors me. are like pedophiles stroke that get paid the, for it. Stroke bro. the shaft, cut if the really balls. If you think about it, bro, they're like pedophiles that get paid. No, because they're doctors. <laughs> yeah, they get paid for it, dog. Yes, but they're doctors. It's a medical reason they're doing that. I don't so know if it's a medical so reason. So if you're telling me that if I walked into a children's hospital with a fucking do doctor's gown on and started touching kids, bro, they'd be like, oh yeah, he works here. He gets paid for it. It's so much more than that. You need a certificate, you jackass. You so need a PhD. So if I printed out a certificate. Walked in with a doctor's gown and just started going to town, bro. You don't think they'd fucking rest me? I think it requires a little more background check for you just to walk in and start touching kids in a medical fashion, bro. I think you got a point, but I'm still going to keep that in the back of my head. Okay, continue on. Anyway, your my, my, yeah. my doctor did not jerk me off while I was getting physicals, all right? Damn, bro, that's crazy. We <laughs> went down to one viewer. Crazy. Um, yeah, no. Uh, fucking, I'm naked, I'm in the fucking gown, the motherfucker comes up to me, right, <clears throat> and he goes, alright, look, alright, and I'm like, yeah, just fucking do it, bro, because it's starting to, like, hurt, and he lifts it up, and drops the fucking gown, and goes, I need morphine and an ultrasound right the fuck now, I'm looking like, I'm gonna fucking die, I'm gonna fucking die, at the least I'm losing my testicle, bro, mm -hmm. at the fucking least, bro. I was like, it's can't, it's everything, bro. It's every. I have AIDS that went straight into my nut. Not even just like full body yeah, AIDS, nut just AIDS. Nut, AIDS. Yeah, nut AIDS. And I was like, I'm gonna fucking die. I fucking um. They come in. Woman, who's giving the IV, has one arm. <laughs> now this bitch has one arm. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, people. I think it's I great. Support LGBTQ. That's not what I was... Okay. I mean, it, it, that's fine, too, but <laughs> <laughs> that's not where I was going with this. Yeah, yeah, um, I uh, I think it's great that she found a profession that allows her to work with one arm. I yeah. think that's fucking great. Yeah, I think it's badass cool, as hell. Yeah. I wish she wasn't the motherfucker doing the IV! Because it hurt so fucking badly. Because when she put the IV in, she missed my vein and hit the nerve in my arm. So he like busted a nut as, uh, as soon as she put that fucking needle. It hurt so fucking badly. The only way I could describe it is when that happened, I couldn't see anymore. I couldn't see anymore. My eyes went completely like white. And I was just like, <gasps> oh, I didn't even want to scream. A menace, dude. I didn't even want to scream. She then looks at me and she goes, oh, baby, I missed. And I'm like. You, yeah, I fucking knew that! Can you aim with your other arm, please? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I fucking knew that! She puts the IV in, right? She's getting the morphine ready. Four syringes of morphine. Four full syringes of morphine. Not even in the bag where it dilutes or anything like that. Just stacked morphine. I don't know if four is a lot, but it was definitely a lot to me. Because after the first two, she looks me in the eyes, word for word, and goes... Oh, now this shit right here is going to lay you on your ass. And I was like, what? Puts that other mug in, drops that shit. I went through the fucking gurney, through the floor, through the crust of this fucking earth, straight to the center of it where it's molten hot fucking magma and shot right back up, bro. I couldn't feel a thing from that point on. And then she was like, just for good measure, we're going to give you another one too. Just shoots another one in there. I was like, bro, <laughs> my blood at this point is like... Fucking ah, point, point four We're morphine. Ah. <laughs> Fucking doctor comes in, gives me the ultrasound. He's like, all right, you, what we think happened is you had kinked your seminal tube in your left testicle. And I'm like. So why mm. do I have four shots of morphine in me? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what do we do? He's like, nothing. I was like. What do, do me? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Nothing. And he was like, it's just either going to fix, it, fix itself or if it doesn't, come back. And I was like, yeah, all right, bro. I will. Don't worry. I go to get out of the hospital. It's like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., some shit like that. They're like, we can't let you drive home. Mind you, I drove there myself. It's 4, four 5 fucking a.m. in the morning. You Nobody. The hospital, right? Huh? Without, you weren't that far, were you? 10 miles. Oh. 10 miles. Aye. 
I fucking, uh, I go, okay. I don't remember what happened after that point, but I'm almost positively sure. In fact, I'm 100% positively sure. I walked home from the hospital 10 miles. It was cold as a motherfucker. It was like 35 degrees outside. I walked home. That morphine kept me warm as shit, bro. I was like, I don't feel a fucking thing right now. Oh, my mom. I don't feel shit, bro. I walked home, woke up, fucked up. Tried to get my friend to come pick me up to get me my fucking car. And he was like, I can't in good conscience let you drive. And I was like, why? And he was like, because the way you sound is not how you sound in your head. How you're talking right now is, Hey, man, can you come get me so I could drive my truck home? I can't let you do that. Yeah. So I had to have, we had to pick my other friend up and then they drove my truck home. <laughs> Jesus yeah, man. Fucking my fucking nut is uh, doing all right. Better than ever, some will say. Yeah, stronger than ever, bro. Stronger than Potent ever. Potent than ever. The nuts he busts, dude, <laughs> fuck. Filled with morphine, bro. Make you go numb. Morphine nuts, bro. Morphine yeah. nuts. Where'd they jab you with morphine in your arm? They put it in the Ivy. Oh, did they? Straight okay. into the Ivy. Oh. Just... Oh, my Lord. It was intense, bro. They didn't make you bust a nut or anything in the hospital? I wasn't going to talk about that, but... Yeah, so they, uh... After they found that out... <laughs> I wasn't going to talk about that, but... I... After they, uh... After they found out that it was my seminal tube that was, like, crimped like a fucking hose in a garden, um... Working at Lowe's. <laughs> crimped hoses. Crimped <laughs> hoses. Um, they were like... The like, yeah. The male doctor came in, and he was like, hey, we're going to need you to, um... We're going to need you to ejaculate. And I was like, hmm? Hmm? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Where your clothes at? Where your clothes at, bro? Where your clothes at? What's happening right now? Light's kind of cool. Where your clothes at? <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Yeah, we're gonna need to see if um if it hurts to do that, um and if it does, we're gonna have to see if there's something else we can do uh to maybe help along with that." And I was like, they didn't "Okay." Give you any fucking pills or anything? Mm-mm. Wow. Just um, send you on your way with four shots of morphine. Huh? Yeah. Jesus Christ. They're like, if you feel shit like shit when you come back, come back. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I was like, okay, I didn't have headphones. I didn't have nothing. I wasn't even in a room. I was in that weird, like fucking Vietnam tent area where like, it was just a curtain separating me from like everyone else. So I was just like, oh my God, it's going to be the most atrocious nut I ever fucking bust in my life, bro. Two people just joined and they probably just heard you say that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Most atrocious nut that he's ever busted. I was like going at it and uh, I just hear in the room, not even the room, the fucking two feet away from me separated by a fucking curtain. This motherfucker being like, yeah, I think I got the fucking gout again, bro. What do you think I should do about it, doc? And I'm like, I can't do this, bro. I can't, bro. There's no way. That morphine, though, really was just like. It was. It must have been cool to bust it in that on morphine. Right? That's a new experience. I can't imagine. I don't even know where I am right now. Fucking. It was crazy, bro. That shit was awful. <laughs> shit was awful, man. Yeah, that fucking. Uh, it was an injury that I fucking had recently. Um, we're gonna go now into the song of the day. I think it's a good topic to talk about. We're each going to pick a song each time we do this and uh, go for that. So, for my song of the day, we're each going to give one. Oh, uh, I got one, dude, for sure. You got one? Can I do it first? Yeah, I don't care. Do we play it? I was oh, we might s- get copyrighted. I was just going to say it, yeah. Yeah, true. So, my song of the day is Do I Want to Know by Arctic Monkeys. There's this meme that... <laughs> You ever been fucked in the ass by someone's dad? No, so it's this meme where this girl is like playing the guitar and she's playing that riff. And this guy in the background is like, you ever been slapped by a wet spaghetti or spaghetti noodle at two in the morning because your wife has a twin sister and you got confused and fucked her dad? That's what it's like to drive a Ford, Ford F-250. F-250. <laughs> Ba-da-dow, bow, bow. Ba-da-dow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. It's actually, a, it's actually a genuinely good song. Also, Juice World's album just came out, and there's this one song called Burn On It. It's the first song on the album. Fuck the beat. Oh, my God. It's like an old retro video game beat, but they, like, flipped it and switched it. So I'm super into music, but fuck, that fucking song slaps. Yeah, the, the song I chose for the day is Love TKO by uh, Teddy Pendergrass. Like technical knockout. Yeah. Because uh, that's what you're going through right now with your girl in Vegas, bro. <laughs> you're going to get that phone call. It's going to be that grapefruit video. 
<laughs> no, no, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I think I'm fucking worried about it for no reason. Um, you know me, bro. I'd be overthinking. Love TKO by uh, Teddy Pendergrass, man. Get after it, man. It's a great song. It's a good vibe, too. Also, uh, number one album of the fucking year is obviously going to be Silk Sonic's album. Yes. Silk Sonic's yeah. album is amazingly good. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, the two sexual men that make me horny. They are so fucking good at what they do. Great it fucking album. It is weird because it's like, that type of music hasn't been out for a while. Since like the 80s. Yeah. And they just did that's it. The, they did it no problem. And they did it in a way that sounded good. They made it sound modern. Yeah. Which is what I love. They used real instruments. You know, uh, Bruno's got a great voice, obviously. His last album kind of fell into that vibe too. 24K yeah. uh, Magic. That was also a great album. I love that. I love Pac. I love where he's going. Though. Yeah. And I love the way he's taking his music to a different plane. I love Pac. I've always loved his Pac. The hardest bar I've ever heard in my life was from Anderson Pack, without a doubt, bro. That mug was like, boy, my mama told me to be about your loop. Now, my mama told me that. Why the fuck would I listen to you? Yeah. Hardest bar I ever heard in my fucking life, bro. This shit was great. Um, oh, so the motherfucker who's creeping up on me is, uh, fuck, what's his name? That one song I was showing you recently with him and, uh, Daniel Caesar. Daniel Caesar's sneaking up on me a little bit. I'm yeah. I'm starting to fuck with him a little more. Yeah, like I, I told you, he was, I'm a guitar player, so like, we're bow, really bow, into bow, music. Bow. No, not that. Bow, uh, bow, 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 bow. Really big into music. Um, I've heard about Daniel Caesar for like when he first came out, like 2014 or something like that, mm. because Fender just threw his fucking face like everywhere because he loved Fender guitars and he was just like everywhere all the time. I don't like Fender. You don't? Fender benders. <laughs> <laughs> Dad joke of the day. Someone clip that. Dad joke of the day. Clipping. Clipped it. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Clipped it. <laughs> dad um, joke of the day. Yeah, but that's the songs we, we have of the have day. We should have that as like another thing, too. Like a dad joke of the day. I think it'd be funny. We, we gotta sneak it in one. somewhere. You know? We can slap it in, yeah. Yeah, I'm down for that. All right. Um, dad joke of the day. But yeah, so that's that. Um, <laughs> Do I want to know? know? It's such a good song, too. And also, it's funny actually. It's like such a meme now, but even like, I think um, Battlefield use that for one of their songs for yeah, showcasing like i think it was battlefield one or battlefield five wasn't it one yeah of the older generation games an iron sky by paolo nutini that's also a great song iron sky mm, it's a good ass song you know what fucking mondo got me into is the black ops themes dude <laughs> like the original or black shit? ops 2 like black ops 2 or an original <sighs> black ops 2? yeah the the uh the the fucking guitars is so fucking good the soundtrack that uh, Vanguard has for the zombies is just that yeah, remastered, exactly. and I'm just like, this shit is atrocious, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, also, uh, Lake theme from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Any, like, dude, I don't get it. Nintendo makes better music than they make games. Weird. I, I know it's like a weird opinion, but if you go back to their older games, dude, the music on those fucking games are insane. Like, any Pokemon game that you can think of, it's fucking crazy. Compared to like the video games that they make nowadays, fucking crazy the music they blast in these motherfucking Wasn't games. Wasn't the re recent Pokemon game that they put out like atrocious? Uh, it was the remaster of Diamond and Pearl. It, I'm playing it right now. It's good. I like it, but it's only because <coughs> it gives me so much nostalgia. It's just weird because they did all the sprites super funky, so it's like a weird art style. Also, Legends or Pokemon Legend of Arceus looks like a really fucking good game. So. I don't know anything about Pokemon. God, Black Ops, fucking. Black Ops Two, um, the the music for Black Ops Two will always put me back to like when I was like twelve years old and just screaming racial slurs at other people. No, I didn't. Modern know that. Warfare, dude. Now, Those lobbies now, were kid, so kids atrocious. Kids nowadays, dude, would not survive a Modern Warfare. Those lobbies were. So, I Without you a doubt could in my hear mind. anything you think of in those lobbies. And you can tell like what ethnicity people are just the way they talk to you. Yeah. Like if they're Mexican, you'll hear like dogs and shit in the background, <laughs> or, like a baby crying or a vacuum going off. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you know what I mean though. Or like if they're blasting music hella loud in their mic while trying to talk to you, it's like you know they're African American. Without a doubt in my mind. Like some ghetto rap <laughs> just blasting in the background. If they're white, you'll hear them clearly. Clear as fuck. Clear as day. Or you'll, or you'll hear them mom. yelling at your mom, yeah. yeah. Shut the fuck up, mom! Make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich! And just screaming at their mom yeah. in the mic. For, for Without a doubt in my mind, you could tell. Every ethnicity over the fucking microphone. <laughs> Those stuff. lobbies were the most atrocious things ever, bro. Apparently they're doing a thing on December 21st where they're bringing back uh, the Modern Warfare 2. Like, they're going, like, 
A lot of people, it's like over 100,000 or something like that, signed up for it. And there's a petition on Facebook for for uh, playing Modern Warfare 2 on multiplayer. Again. Like going oh, yeah? back to the original servers on original PS3s and shit. It's actually kind of cool. I think I might have to join. I don't have a PlayStation 3 anymore. My dad has one. I'll hook it up in here. I'll blast Modern Warfare 2 and just scream racial slurs to top my lungs as usual. <laughs> Brings me back, dude. Ties as a kid, bro. Or the no Russian mission where you're just chopping down motherfuckers at the airport. In the German, when that shit came out, dude. Oh in the German version of God. it, you fail the mission if you kill a civilian. Really? Yeah. So you just have to sit there and watch? Yeah. Uh-huh. I could never do it. I was too much of a bitch. I was like, bro, I feel so bad. Really? I was like 11. It's a fucking video game. I'm not even. I was like so, eight. So when Mateo, uh, yeah, when my older brother Mateo bought the video game, because he was super into video games before he started like being a normal person, you know what I mean? Because that's what I'm doing right now is trying to be a normal person. But I'm streaming on Twitch. That's never going to happen. But um, yeah, when he first bought the game, he was playing it and he got to that mission. And I remember my dad specifically telling me, don't ever play that mission. And I was like, all right, cool, yeah. But you know, as a kid, when your parents tell you, like, don't you do, do it. something, you, you do, do it, it instantly. So as soon as you left the room, instantly, like, I went to the mission select and picked that mission. And it even, like, I don't know, I think it did used to give you, like, a warning or some shit, didn't it? No, it never gave on you a Modern warning. On Modern Warfare 2? On the original one, no. In the remastered, it oh, does. It you does. can skip the yeah, mission okay. now. Yeah, uh, yeah. on the original, I guess, yeah, it didn't give you a warning. No, yeah, you I just played, went in. I played the shit out of it like four times in a row, and then I went, holy fuck, this is crazy. This is crazy for a video game to have this. Yeah, it was... Um, what are you talking about video games? That's another thing. That was one of the topics I had. Okay. Video games, because we play a lot of fucking video games. What but, are, what's like a new game that's going to come out that you think like, is going to be good? Ragnarok. God of oh, War Ragnarok. Yeah, without a doubt, Ragnarok. I can't wait. How could they fuck that up? I can't wait. I mean, there's like a possibility of fucking it up, but how could that? I loved the. Also, the Warzone last got one. fucking DDoS attacked. Fucked Warzone. Fuck Warzone. Warzone sucks. We're so bad at Warzone. You're bad at Warzone. We used to be. I used to be super good at Warzone. I'm still okay at it. And I haven't played it since Modern Warfare because Cold War just. I don't know. I just didn't care for it. Took over your life for a second, and then Vanguard came out, and the zombies Vanguard was fucking complete garbage. I can't, dude. The Twitter memes that came out that day. Like, day one Warzone, or fucking Vanguard. The Twitter memes that came out that day were so fucking funny. Yeah, fuck, bro. Horrible. That Horrible. shit was atrocious. That shit was awful, bro. Got out of my own barrel. <laughs> Stuck in my head. You ever been fucked in the ass know. by your husband's fucking... Your wife's husband? What? <laughs> Hello? When your wife's boyfriend says that you could play the Switch for once. Yeah. Yay. While she's getting her shit <laughs> railed in the back room. Do I wanna know. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah, man, I'm fucking, I'm gonna fucking uh, transition into some fucking anime because uh, I love anime. Naruto, Naruto's the best anime ever. I like Bar- One Piece. Baruto One Piece fucking kind of blows. Actually, Baruto's starting it. to go up I hate now. It. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, motherfucker. Baruto's starting to go up now. It was really shitty in the start, but now it's starting to go up. They're just doing Shippuden, this shit where Shippuden's they decide to take fantastic. every. Yeah, without a doubt. There's no way um, I can watch One Piece, no, dude. I can't. I can't commit myself to One Piece. Oh I was thinking about I it because I really so like Zoro. I love he's it a cool so character. Much, I've watched a lot of like edits on him and shit. He does a lot of cool shit. I love it so much, has. bro. Mm. I, uh, I don't think I can commit to like. Been watching that episodes. shit since I was 12, bro. I'm in it. I'm all caught up on the anime. I'm on an episode a thousand and like two. Um, Do I yeah, I'm fucking in, bro. A minute. I had some shit recently spoiled for me, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, top top five animes. You got some? Uh, so the first ever anime I ever watched was uh, Attack on Titan. It was a good one. And that was like first season, and then second season came out, and I watched that, and then I kind of lost interest after second season. So I haven't watched third or fourth. Third one's good. Uh, I subscribed to Crunchyroll in like 2019 or 2018, I think, and there was this anime that was plastered everywhere. It was called Erased. Yeah, it's on Netflix now. Yeah. I think that, it's still on Crunchyroll. That was fucking great. Was it? Yeah. I'll go watch it later. Really then. fucking good. Um, can we include movies or just anime shows? Anime movies good too, yeah. Okay, Spirited Away. Spirited Away is good. I've watched it too many times to count on fingers. Also, Akira. Akira. This I've right never here. seen that. This fucking shit right here, dude. If you guys ever get a chance to watch this movie, it's a, it's kind of a mind fuck. Like you, like the first time oh, you watch, you it, showed me it. Yeah, that's right. I remember. remember. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. You, you even told me at the end of the movie, like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. And I looked at you and I said, I don't fucking know. It just, it's a fucking great movie. But yeah, it's all like manga style. I get, I don't even know. It's not manga, is it? But yeah, that's manga. Manga, manga. 
I'm white, so I can't say anything right. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that fucking movie's great. That's four, isn't it? Um, fifth, I just have to go with Naruto. I watched Naruto, the first edition, I think, of Naruto. All the way through, no breaks, no stops whatsoever. And I will admit that it's so fucking slow. Yeah. Out of, like, the four or five hundred episodes they had, maybe, like, two hundred of them were story. And the rest was just filler, no matter what. Which was kind of shitty, because, like, watching it... I, I watched it a lot with Edgar, and I just thought to myself, like, this is fucking... Half these episodes are fucking dumb as shit. Yeah. Also, uh, another sneaky entry is uh, One Punch Man. Oh, yeah, that's great. One Punch Man is way too fucking funny to be an anime. There's no... Ugh, Cowboy Bebop 2... Fuck, yeah, man. So All right, if we're only okay, hold on. if we're only going shows, it's Attack on Titan. Uh, no, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Attack on Titan, Erased, mm-hmm. uh, Cowboy Bebop, mm-hmm. One Punch Man, and Naruto. There's no crazy order to that, but those are like the five ones for me. I'm gonna go from bottom to top. Bottom to top. Yeah. Okay, so fifth place is gonna be Naruto, yeah, without a doubt. I can see that. It's just um, the fillers, dude. There wasn't yeah. so much of it. It would be so much better. Fifth place is gonna be Naruto. Fourth place is going to be um, Attack on Titan. Yeah, I could actually switch those. Attack on Titan, fifth place. Naruto, fourth place. Okay, I'm, um, I'm with you in the same boat, then. Yeah. Okay, um, the same boat. Next is going to be um. Ah, uh, fuck. What is that anime called? Fuck. Next is gonna be next is gonna be Samurai Champloo. Samurai Champloo is gonna. Does Samurai Jack count as an anime? No, <laughs> but I love that show too. <laughs> that show. Um, next is gonna be Samurai Champloo. I love that fucking um. I love that show so much. It's such a great show. Um, yeah. Second is going to be One Piece. Second is going to be One Piece. Uh, just the story of it is incredible. Because there are episodes... I just watched an episode. And from the first episode, from one mm-hmm. to like a thousand, I still get goosebumps sometimes in that show. Yeah, I feel that. It's like the story is ridiculously dense, but it's played out so fucking well. Mm. And then top anime of all time for me is going to be Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Without a doubt. Okay, so I'll, I'll do, like, Attack on Titan 5. Uh, I want to put Naruto 4 just because the fillers. 3 is uh, fucking One Punch Man. Because the anime is really good, but it's, fuck, it's, like, it's too funny. You know what I mean? There's so much shit that, like, they could do with the story, but they just choose not to and just be funny about it. You know what I mean? And then number two is probably Erased. I just think Erased was so, it's so fucking good. I'll have to watch the it. The story behind it is really like complex. You should check out this show called Ninety One Days. Ninety one days, alright. That's good. Never seen it, but... And then number one has to be Cowboy Bebop no matter what. I've watched Cowboy Bebop so many times. Yeah, so many times. So too. many fucking And there's only like what, twenty six episodes? Is there any more? There's a movie, but I can never find it. There's a movie for Cowboy? Oh wow. Yeah, I know I they did the Netflix live adaptation. It was and atrocious. After, like, one it season. was so fucking bad. I feel bad because I like John Cho. I think he did a good job of yeah, Spike. I, I think he's cool. Everyone else, Jet was kind of cool too, but everyone else was so Valentine fucking bad. Valentine wasn't hot, dude. Fuck that. On, everyone bro. else was so fucking bad in that. Yeah, you know, I brought it up show. to my girlfriend one time. I was like, "Yeah, like it seems like it's gonna be great the live adaptation because you know all the characters kind of match the personalities that they have, except for Valentine." She's like, why is that? And I was like, she's not hot. She's not bad. She's not hot. And then she's like, so you're telling me that you're putting woman standards in anime? And I was like, yeah. I didn't say that, but I guess I am. Like, I just wish she was a badder bitch. Yeah. Because <laughs> in the anime, dude, everyone was. Remember that fucking one where the spaceship is literally just a whole casino, like a yeah. gambling casino? And they're all like. Yeah. Everyone in that episode was staring at her the whole fucking time, no yeah. matter what. So it's like. I would expect you to choose someone that's or like bad the, as fuck. You know or like I mean? the one where they go to that. Now, now, no no disrespect on the girl that played her in the all live action. You know, good on her. She got the role for it, but come on, dog. <clears throat> or like the episode where they go to Callisto where it's like an only male planet. Uh-huh. And everyone and their mother's just like. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the top five for us. Okay. You know, fucking. Uh, if yeah. you guys have top five or like any recommendations, please. The chat's open, obviously. Yeah, chat's open. Is this going to be anywhere else besides Twitch? I don't know. Maybe YouTube or, like, Spotify or Apple Music. Because I know they do the fucking podcast and shit. Yeah, we'll try and put some shit up there. When I say we, I mean you, because I don't know how to do any of that stuff. 
I have to figure it out, yeah. 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 YouTube is probably the easiest way to do it. Yeah. I'll just literally take, because it's recording right now, I'll take yeah, the just, whole just fucking hour of recording it. and just post it. Yeah. Um, it might take a couple hours, but it'll be up. It'll yeah. Be. <laughs> we'll try and put this out there. Um, name's going to be, obviously, Road to Hell. Oh. Road to Hell podcast. Uh, these guys can have his fucking email and shit. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, um, I want to give another uh, shout out again because the last time I did it was in the beginning. Um, Devin from Why Illinois. Why are you calling her out so much, dude? What's going on? Now? Because. Fuck you, Devin. <laughs> Miguel's mad that you haven't uh, talked to him at all. But yeah, just want to give a shout out to her because she gave us. We already had this idea, but it was we kinda we weren't gonna like actually kinda, do it. Yeah. We weren't gonna do it until we got Devin to Devin tell us. Devin like, to tell you guys us. are fucking hilarious. So, so shout out to her. <laughs> Fuck it, bruh. Yeah, uh let's talk about horse girls, bruh. I don't wanna talk about horse girls. <laughs> Why not? So there was this one bitch in elementary school that was a horse girl. Her name was Emma. I don't I don't know if we've ever been in contact since then, but in elementary school she was on a scale from one to ten, dude, she was probably like a yeah, way busted. yeah, busted, busted looking girl. Beaten out of her. She's just horse girl, but you know, she's cool. She's a cool girl. She was kind of like a, one of those like geek nerdy people, you know. So no one really hung out with her. And I remember her uh, having a crush on me and her telling me that, and I was very like antisocial in elementary school. I, obviously, you could tell. I mean, look at my room. And uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. And uh, I saw her like I think two years ago or so. Bro, this bitch, 180. complete, bro, bad as fuck. I literally, like, was nervous to, like, hopefully, awesome. yeah. And, like, in elementary school, I was never nervous because, you know, she's fucking horse girl. Bro, complete. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. Can you believe shit like that? I don't get it, bro. Horse girls, man. Horse girls, man. Insane, dude. Thank you. Hey, Insane. there's two types. There's the one type where it's just the stereotypical one who's like really just In, into, into it, horses. into it, bro. And then there's bareback. that, and there's uh. that second type who's just some of the baddest bitches you will ever see in yo. Well, the weird life. thing is that she went from one type to the other type. Yeah, it's like diabetes. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't tell Mondo. Yeah, don't tell hey, Mondo. Hey, shout bro. out to Mondo for having. If you ever watch this, bro. shout out to you for having diabetes, dog. Keep up on your insulin, okay, bud. We love you. Keep that iPod on you. <laughs> keep, keep that locked in. Keep that little pump on you, dog. Little pump. Yeah, Such man. Such a fucking hoe. I, I love, love it. it. Yeah, no, fucking horse girls be bad as hell sometimes, bro. They be the thickest hoes you ever see in your life. They be walking down the street. You look at them, you're like, she a horse girl. I know it, bro. I know she is, bro. I know it. Just too much ass to country not be. Country girls a... make do, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, country boys make do, bro. Country girls make do, bro. Bow. Yeah, fuck no, man. Yeah, that'd be bad as hell, bro. Shit. Get, uh, yeah, I don't uh... want to stay on this topic too long, dude. I'm going to get fucking hot and sweaty, you know what I mean? Why are you touching me? But, uh, Why are you touching me, what's, bro? What's next? We got. We can go a little over. 20 minutes or so. Yeah. You know, 20 minutes or so. I don't know, bro. We got uh, video games. We got fucking... We got shit like that, bro. Should have written it down, buddy. Should have written it down because I forgot. The moment this shit started recording, I was like, what was I going to talk about, bro? <laughs> talk dumb and, about... Dumb and dumber. Yeah. Dumb and dumber, bro. We could talk about some atrocious people on the we if you really want to. I remember that one fat dude that was flexing a gun at us. And that one yeah. dude that you said socked it and he got really scared very yeah. quickly. Yeah, we ran into people. Omegle is a is a crazy place, bro. We it's a basically very diverse community. We basically just started doing it because we were bored as shit. We meet, we met some bad hoes on there. We met some nice ass people. Everyone else is a piece of shit and doesn't deserve to live anymore, at all, bro. They're the fucking worst people, bro. We ran into someone who um started out with a gun, right? He started out with a gun. To me, doesn't scare the shit out of me. One, I grew up with guns. Guns everywhere. He's also on camera, so what the fuck is he gonna do? Like, shoot me? Motherfucker, try it. Shoot your camera, bitch. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and then, uh... And then he was like, Yeah, you know, man, what do you think about all this gun shit that's happening? I'm like, Don't talk to me about this, bro. Please, bro. Are you no. talking about that guy? Yeah, I'm talking I'm about that guy. Racist, but yeah, like, he, he starts off right by saying, I'm not racist, but I don't support the Black Lives Matter group. 
And I was like, okay, there's a difference between supporting the movement and then the group. Which one do you hate? And then he was like, both of them. And I was like, okay, all right, we're already getting off to a rough start with this guy. We're already getting a rough start to this guy. Um, And then, like, time goes on. We're just basically kind of shitting on him a little bit. And then he goes, yeah, I'm not racist, you know. And we're like, okay, whatever, bro. You kind of sound racist. And then, like, and then five minutes later, he goes, yeah, I just hate black people. And we're like, the fuck? And he was like, yeah, I don't trust him. And I was like, hey, bro, that kind of sounds like. Racism. Racism. Yeah, a little bit. Isn't that but, funny how that works? Yeah, it's crazy how that works. Yeah. With his fucking stupid ass gun and everything like that, trying to act hard and shit. I was talking about that one fat dude. Yeah. Man. Yeah, we started roasting this dude and he pulled out a gun on us. <laughs> on, on camera. On yeah, on Amigo. And I'm just looking at him I'm like. You good? <laughs> yeah, you good? Who, who the fuck asked? <laughs> who the fuck asked? <laughs> on God. Like, I don't fucking care. Like, I genuinely don't give a shit if someone pulls out a fucking gun on a camera. Plus, he lived, like, in fucking Illinois or Wisconsin or some bullshit like that. The fuck? Where's Devin from? Idaho? Devin's from Illinois. Devin is from Illinois. I think? No, she, she said she's from wait. Idaho, remember? Hold on. <laughs> no! Yeah, I'm gonna be right watching. You're just a better listener than me. Ask her. Yeah, I don't know. Um, where you from again? Where you from? Where you from? Get the get the shout out correct. Yeah, it's, it's Idaho. I remember because she said that there's nothing in Idaho. No, it was Illinois because remember we were like Chirac. No, it's not from Illinois, bro. It's Idaho. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> Chirac. 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 Um, yeah, and then uh, we met a dude from the Bay Area, who's probably from like Daly City. Yeah, and he Some. was very. Uh, he, he, he was, was talking a lot of shit. He was talking hella shit, trying to flex on us, right? He was dropping all this, like, I don't know, fake Gucci, fake and shit. We are from the Bay Area. I'm not from the Bay Area. I'm genuinely from the Bay Area. Yeah, I, he I, is. I was born and raised Bay Area. And I was born and raised in Stockton, California, um, which has a, you know. We've already said it. Yeah. Yeah, we've already, um, we've already established this note. Here and we um, we st- I tried to ask him where he was from. Because I want to know. I just want to know where he was from and if he was acting hard for no fucking reason. This motherfucker said Bay Area, so we started throwing out guesses, right? We were like, Daly City, because you look like a fucking idiot. Yeah. You... Fairfield, because you look like a fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Burbank, fucking... because you yeah. are a fucking <laughs> yeah. idiot. There's literally nothing in Burbank. Oh, uh, and then he and was this like... this says, Stockton. And this guy shits, like, his pants, bro. Doesn't, like, say anything. He's like, you're from Stockton? I, uh, yeah. He oh. asked me where I was from. Well, he asked us where I was from. Yeah. And then, you know, you and Edgar say, and then you look at me, and I was like, I'm from that dirty-ass 209, 209! Bro. I'm from that disgusting-ass, trifling-ass 209. Don't do gang signs. Those aren't gang signs. I was just trying to make the numbers with the fucking thing. Um, oh no, but um, don't do that shit while I'm on here, bro. I can't, I can't bro. come in. I'm throwing up blood, dog. <laughs> uh. Don't do that shit while I'm on here, bro. Um... I hate you. Um, but, nah. Um, I said I was from Stockton. I have he, arthritis. And he was like... <laughs> For the audio listeners, I'm throwing up gang signs, but I have arthritis. <laughs> and he goes... <laughs> he goes, you're, you're not from Stockton. And I was like, on God and my dead homies, I am from Stockton. And he was like, oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. And I was like, I will type my fucking 209 dirty ass phone number into this chat right now so you can call me. Or you can type your fucking privileged ass fucking whatever Burbank, California phone number you have into the chat. Yeah, and I'll call you. <laughs> and you can see that disgusting ass 209. 209. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, 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 no. It's not true. Bro. Who's the who's your favorite rapper from Stockton? And I was like, What? And he was like, uh, who's from the UFC in Stockton? And I was like, it's Nick and Nate Diaz. I personally know them, bro. Like, I used to go to their gym all the time. <laughs> fucking, off uh, fucking Thornton Road, bro. Like, I I know them hoes. Is it on Thornton? Fuck, I don't remember. I've never been, bro. I need to go back. I'm too white. If you're ever in Stockton, like California. Time, you know? If you're ever in Stockton, California, let me shout out one of my favorite restaurants ever there, bro. It is Me Ranchito's Cafe, bro, in downtown Stockton. Don't go there. Like a million of you, bro. Yes, but it's not a chain restaurant there. It's oh. just a standalone, and it's oh. really fucking good. Um, if you're ever there, um, go with a Mexican. I'll just say that. Go with a Mexican because it's on the Mexican side of town, and um, 
Yeah. So just go so with Mexican. So if I went with you, it'd be fine? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just know someone when you go. I'll just say that. Just know someone when you go and uh, park in the parking lot. Don't park on the street. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah. He got atrociously scared and actually left. Yeah, he skipped. He skipped. Yeah, he got he hella scared the moment I said that shit. Talking the most shit. As soon as we pop out, motherfucker leaves instantly. Like, oh, I bet. That's what's up. The town carries weight, bro. Town carries weight, bro. It almost makes yeah, me Yeah, when think... you're the most dangerous city in California for five years in a row, obviously you're going to carry a little weight. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit, bro. Yeah, not a lot, you know. Just a little bit. People are going to be like, yeah, it's Stockton. That's very crazy. Sister city is Oakland. Oakland, California. That is our sister city, bro. Bro, if you're from Oakland, good for you. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I remember I ran into someone. If you uh, could survive in Oakland, good for you. I remember I ran into someone and they were like, you only, you only here in Stockton, right? Because you have nowhere else to fucking go, bro. This is why you here. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, Dead God. Ass. Word. 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 Ball out. Poor as shit. I ain't got nowhere else to fucking go. Ball out. Born and raised. Damn right hospital, which I don't even think is a hospital anymore because I think it shut down. Everything shuts down. As soon as you go to Stockton, everything shuts down. Ball out. Nah, but fuck yeah, man. That motherfucker got terrified, bro. Let's go to Stockton, bro. I'm down. I've told you multiple times I'm down. I want to get food. I want to get food, bro. I need some food, bro. You want to drive an hour and a half? Two hours? To go get fucking Mexican food? My girl's down there, bro. Oh, you get more than food, huh? Yeah. I get ass. Yeah, true. I don't. I get two helpings, bro. I go to Davis food. and I just get stared at. <laughs> <laughs> For like three days. Yeah, fucking yeah. yeah. I bet. This town has a weird staring problem that we live in. This town uh, has okay. a weird, yeah. This town has a very. So we live in a very small and quainted town called Rohnert Park, California. You guys could look it up. Uh, it's it's not like it's not big. I hate this place. I hate this place. The only reason he lives here because it's cool. But um, it's not like a very big town. You don't have a lot of people. It's probably like four or five thousand people. Not that bad, right? Somewhere around that. I don't know, maybe. I feel like the SSU makes it a lot. have, yeah, have more. Because we get a lot of... It makes it look bigger. True. So we, we probably have like six or 7,000. My bad. Me. But um, there is a lot of white people. And, you know... It's not even white people. No, just, well, It's rich people. There's like a so, fuck ton so of rich So there's people. the difference. What I was about to say, there's a difference between white people and white people. We have the type of white people here where they're just very non-accommodating just angry as fuck all the time no matter what they look at me and they're like he's poor yeah and i'm just like they just do that here and it's weird because you know i'm my dad's like middle class he's not he's not high class low class you know what i mean he's middle class you know we, we make good money here but the stares and the talking that we get from these white people bro is insane yeah it's it's different and if you're like you know, I'm not trying to shit on poverty or poor people, you know, but if you are like that, bro, and you live here, you will get shit on, yeah, yeah 24-7. Shit, on. shit, shit on. on 24-7. Yeah. You could be walking like a chihuahua with your kids and they would call the cops on you because they think you're going to rob your house. Yeah. It is uh... It is fucked up. And, like, it's not, like, gang-banging activities, you know, like Stockton. It's just fucked up in the other sense of, like, yeah. The, How am I going to get the cops calling me today? Yeah, it's the, it's the inverse of it, man. And it's uh, it's fucking crazy because a lot of people on the campus, like I'll, I'll walk somewhere and people will just be looking at me. <laughs> and I've never had this happen. I come from a very diverse town, right? Mm. So I'll walk down one of the streets on campus and I'll see people cross the street. And I'm like, bruh. Why do you do this, bruh? Bruh, what the fuck? They know I'm from Stockton. They can smell it. They know I'm poor as shit. They can <laughs> fucking see it on me, bro. They can smell it. It's just the like, mm, I don't even want to be near him, bro. Yeah. Ooh, he got his grime on him. It's like cooties. Yeah. Yeah, cooties yeah. for your money. You got that poor cooties, yeah, bro. Yeah, poor cooties, bro. Fuck. I'd be fucking, I'd be walking down. People just be crossing the street. I remember one time, uh, me and my roommates uh, years ago, when I first got here, we were going somewhere, and um, there was this dude walking down the street, and they wanted to go across the street, and I was like, for what? For what? Some motherfucker who's just walking down the street in a hoodie, bro. You're going to have to do more than that to freak me out in this town, bro. Like, come on, bro. I remember I ran into people at that high school. and um, ranch, oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, they were talking to me because I had my windows down. And they were like, hey, bro, where are you going, huh? Why don't you come out and hang out with us? And I was like, nah, I'm good off it, bro. 
Yeah, you're like 16, bro. Leave me alone. Yeah, and I was, and they were like, hey, bro, hey, why don't you go get us something to eat, bro? And I was like, do I know you? You are too fucking Oh, young. Devin Lee. Oh, word. Appreciate the follow, dog. Hey, where are you from? Where are you from? Oh, it is fucking Devin. Oh, it's Ohio. Ohio. Beautiful. Fuck, I said Idaho. Damn it. That was pretty close. That was well, close. Devin, nice to see you in here. We just hit our hour mark. That was kind of funny, actually, because as soon as we hit an hour, you... I thought um, it was our timer to stop talking. Hey, so ball out, Devin. Uh, we've shouted you out like twice now. You want to do it again? Hurry up. It's yeah, shout out Ohio, to Devin. Ohio. Devin Lee from Ohio, bruh. You know. Sheesh! Uh, she, uh... Can we hit a quick dab for her? Quick, thanks. Appreciate it. Hit one. I'm not Let doing do that. Get you, off dude. me. Let me puppeteer you, dude. Just no, get off me, bro. I'm not hitting a fucking dab for Devin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Devin. Damn um for Devin. Yeah, they fucking came up to me and uh, they were like, "Hey, why don't you go buy us something to eat, bro?" And I was like, "You are too young and too much of a bitch to freak me out, yeah, bro. Out here, like, bro. fuck off, bro. You look like you just came out your mom's asshole, bro. Like, fuck off." He was a butt baby. Yeah, he was a fucking ass cheek baby, bro. Like, he fucking came out and his mom's cheeks started clapping together. Why'd you bro? guys finally started a show. Hey, true. Hey, word to that, bro. Word. word to that, bro. Let's get a. Sp <laughs> you think we'll ever get sponsored? No. From the atrocious shit that we fucking say. I wonder who would sponsor us. Roman. <laughs> Roman. Yeah, isn't that like the the fucking dick shit? Like Trojan. No, 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 no. Roman. Trojan. Cousins. Like is no Roman. It's like a thing. Like it's like a Viagra, but like. We only just get a sponsorship from Viagra. Viagra, Viagra hit us up in the. I'll, <laughs> yeah, I have my email in the description. Yeah, we'll fucking pull our line. dicks out on camera, bro. Yeah, Trojan. Yeah. Trojan. We'll pull our dicks out on camera to see the the the. We'll difference. watch gay porn first, and whoever gets hard first. Yeah, it loses. Is gay, yeah. Yeah, so whoever gets we'll hard first loses, loses bro. Enough, yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking. We're just yeah, talking no. about it, Gianni's already bricked up. Dude, yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking. I'm fucking herniated nut. Yeah, with my fucked up testicle, bro. Hi, Mr. Rage. Yeah, fuck that, bro. That'd be hilarious if we could get to Viagra to sponsor us, bro. We'll take before and after pictures, uh, and then we'll time it, see how long it takes to fucking get soft again. Now, are we doing, like, can we do, like, half chub, or are we doing, like, full brick? It'd be full brick, because oh. it's Viagra. It'd take me a while, then. Take you a while to what? Get down or get up? Both. <laughs> a very strange penis. But, um, yeah, no, I, I think, uh, that That fucking, uh, I don't know if I want even want to talk about nope. this. <laughs> No, you don't. Nope. No, you don't. Shut the fuck up. No, you don't. No. Don't say that shit to me, bro. Bitch, you better shut the fuck. But uh, yeah. Devin. Devin. Uh, this is all your fault, Devin. That I'm fucking. Hey, put your shit in the chat, bro. Put your shit in the chat, bro. If you uh fucking want followers or some shit like that, I don't fucking know, bro. Um, she bad bitch, bro. Get after her. She's single. Last time I checked. Um, this was like you what were last checking? week? <laughs> last week when we talked to her. You were checking. Yeah, bro. I miss the rage. I miss but, the rage. Uh, yeah, we're going to try and get this on Spotify. We're going to try and get this on Apple Music, maybe. I think first we're going to get it on uh, YouTube. Apple Podcasts or something. Apple Podcasts. Well, they have a different one. Yeah. We're gonna be, I'd uh, give less than shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah. Um, we're also going to try and do this once a week. I'm thinking once about every getting a soundboard weeks. pretty soon here. So, like, yeah. whenever we have something go off, I could do, like, the... Oh shit! Or the fucking like that dude that we ran into where he was just like phasing, hood class phasing in and out of banger. the thing. <laughs> yeah, this is a certified just hood like, banger. With all the fucking weird ass faces yeah. that he was making and shit like Rise. that. Rise! Oh, there yeah, she put it in. Woo! Devin Lee. Okay, is that her Instagram? I don't, I don't know, bro. It might be her Snapchat. I'm gonna start ddosing this bitch, bro. <laughs> Yo, you put just, your ad, put your address in chat, bro. Stop yeah. being a bitch. Put your address, put your in, address chat. in chat, bro. Yeah, hurry up, bro. Also, if you ever want a guest in the, what? Damn, you changed your shit up, bro. Who the fuck? That's Who? Andrea. No, this. That's my mom. Really? That's my mom and my dad. That's my mom and that's my daddy. Bro, please show them on camera, bro. Need a bra button. True. That'd be fucking tight. Need Imagine a having a bra button. button. <laughs> yeah, the you remember uh, Alien? The original Alien movie. Yeah. When that came out, everyone said she looked like Sigourney Weaver. The main bitch in... I haven't seen that. Bro. I hate your ass, bro. I'm fucking... I'm 21. What do you expect? I I'm had, 21. I've I, seen the shit. Dude, I have motherfuckers at work telling me all the time, Hey, ever seen this movie? And I'm like, no. When did it come out? They're like, oh, the 89. I'm like... Why the fuck? Nine's not even that long ago. Why the fuck would I know that? And they're like, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 21, dude. Do I look like I'm fucking 40? What, you only watch movies after fucking 2005, bro? What the Sometimes, fuck? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Ah, dude. Ah, Let's just ah, dude. we'll just get the soundboard. We'll record ourselves, Brand. and then just be the Brand. most atrocious. Did I tell you I know the guy who did the original sound for the bread noise? Why you? Know, how do you know him? I just I knew him from college. He went to my college. I says you. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, you don't go there anymore. Uh, but yeah, he was like my best friend. How could he? How, how do you know it was him? Because he fucking had the original clip for it back in like 2012 or whenever it came out. And, Is he uh, rich or something? No. He wow. never gets credit for it or anything uh, like that. But every time I introduce him. Shout him out, bro. Come on. His name's Matt Ancona, bro. Matt Ancona. Um, Was he black? No. What? Mm-hmm. Think I, hold up, bro. Let me, let me make sure this is the right shit here. What bro noise is There's fucking a million of them. Exactly. There's like a million of them. But well, I'm talking about this one, bro. Is that him? <laughs> no. Um, they use a di- there's a different one that he did back in like fucking whoever. Yeah. No, he's whack. Don't shout him out. That. Fuck I shout him out because he's a good friend of mine. Bruh. Shout out, man. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, anytime I would introduce him to people, I'd be like, do the thing, do the thing, and go, bruh. And it was really fucking funny. <laughs> bruh. Fuck, bruh. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I am. Let's go get some Costco pizza, bruh. I don't want to go to Costco. Why not? That's just far, man. Let's order food. Bruh, but I'm hungry. What, you gonna get a Little Caesars pizza? I always get a Little Caesars. Bruh, order some Little Caesars pizza, bruh. No, because then you finna eat it. I'm not gonna eat that much of it, bruh. You finna eat it. Why you do this? The main point is that you're not going to eat a lot of it. The main point is that you're going to eat it. I like to savor my pizza for a couple days. Bro, let me get some, bro. Why are you so? Why are you stingy? It's not my issue, bro. Why are you stingy it's like that, issue, bro? bro? Anyways, guys, I think we're going to wrap it here today. We're going to go try and... Uh... I'm checking my bank account real quick. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, you want to see mine? You want to see mine? I have like 40 bucks. What do you have? Oh my, oh my god, how? How are you fucking paying rent and shit? I have, bro, I thought I was low, bro. Nigga has uh, 51 cents in his savings, bro. Yes, sir. How? We live day to day, bro. We live day to day. I go to the casino, throw some dice. Yeah, fucking 51 guess. cents on a fucking, oh. Yo, let me get 51 cents in chips, please. They give you they give a me half pennies. a chip, bro. They give you <laughs> they give half me a chip. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. We live day to day, bro. We live day to day. Oh. You went, how? How do you What fuck? the fuck going on? What is happening right now? Dude? Yeah, that's my life, bro. Day to day. Day to day. I live on them checks, bro. I meet some random homeless people, start betting with them. <laughs> and they'll bet. If they'll bet 51 cents. Them, bro, yeah. They just take the money anyway. They're like, hey, like alright, bro, give me the money. I'll put in my heroin needle for a fucking fifty cents, bro. I'm like, nah, give me some cash, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> need one cents. Need your heroin needle, bro. Give me, give me, I fucking, give me a um, quarter, bro. Give me, let me get a quarter off you, dog. It Something takes me back to the time that I had meth in my house. Oh God, you want to tell that story too? Yeah, I'll do this for the last story, bro. I'm uh, Mr. Ray. I got a call from my friend at like five a.m. one time, and uh, he was like, "Hey, man, I, uh, I'm taking a flight right now. I need to drop something off at your house." And I was like, "What kind of soda do you like?" And I was just, Dr. Pepper's fine too. I'm fucking. Oh my fuck. Um, and I was like, what, what, what? You ever wake up and some shit just don't make sense to you? They He's like, Pepsi. what the fuck? Bro? That's fine. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? He's like, I'll be at your house in like five minutes. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So he hangs up. He gets to my house. I open the door. It's like 5:30. I'm like, bro, what's happening? He was like, hey, bro, I gotta take a flight. Um, I need to drop this off because I forgot it was in my car and they might bring dogs around at the airport. Um, Turtles, thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I need I need Makes you to sense. hold this. And he drops meth off on me. And I'm just sitting you there. Like have it in your hands? Yeah. Oh, you got fingerprints on it. Ooh. The fuck? <laughs> fingerprints. <laughs> um, and I was just holding it, and he was like, all right, man, I love you. I'll be back in like two weeks, bro. Can you give I... his name and address, too, for people <laughs> watching? So they know. And I'm like, the fuck is this? I take it into my house. Don't touch it. Don't fuck with it. Forget it's there. I get a call in two weeks. He's like, hey, I just got back from Columbia, bro. I'm coming to pick it up. And I was like, word. I give it to him. And he's like, I'm surprised you didn't use any of it. I was like, why the fuck would I use it? And he was like, I don't even want a good time. And I was like, bro, I don't. Get out of my house. <laughs> I'm like, get out of my house. Get out of my house. I give it back to him. He leaves. Haven't talked to him since. <laughs> 
I got a text from him later that day. He's like, hey, thanks for doing that, man. You're a real one for that. And I was like, bro, please don't do that shit to me again. Yeah, please. Don't come to my house. Man. Don't do that to me again, bro. Please. Did you, did you invite him to Christmas? I'll be in Arizona for Christmas, bro. Hey, did you invite him? No. Why don't you invite me? <laughs> you want to come to Arizona for Christmas, bro? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. You want to come to my house you don't think that'd for be fun? Christmas? I get to cuddle with you in your bed. Bro, you'd be sleeping on them hard ass tile floors, bro. Really? Yeah. Damn. Them cold ass tile floors. You think your mom would like give me a towel or something for a blanket? No. She'd be like, "Here's a here's a curtain." No, my dad would probably come in at like 3 a.m. though and kick your ass a little bit because you're Portuguese and then like leave. I don't get why it's such a bad thing that I'm Portuguese. Uh, because your people yeah, like enslaved I, my not, eye entire people. That's not my problem. I don't care. Obviously I don't care. Don't. We're doing a fucking podcast. Yeah, obviously you don't but you know, my dad does. All right, let's talk about racism. <laughs> let's talk about racism on our podcast. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to wrap it there. Um, an hour and ten minutes, baby. We'll try minutes. and uh, we'll try and do this uh, once a week. I think once a week is good. Maybe every Wednesday. Every Wednesday would be cool. I don't want you in my house on Wednesday. We'll do it once every two weeks. Yeah, give me a little break. This motherfucker comes over too much. Do that every like two weeks, all right? Every 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 other Wednesday, remember that. So it's like we have. We'll two do it podcasts. once a week, guys. All right. And every uh, two weeks, <laughs> so you get two podcasts a month. That's not bad. We're just starting out. It's not like anyone's gonna watch right now. You know what I mean? I guess. We're not gonna pump out fucking episode after episode for like no one to watch. Why not, bro? I like it. What if we just start macking on each other on camera? I get away. We post that on the get fucking away. podcast. Get away from me. All right, guys. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for everyone who stopped by. Um, you guys do it. Do it. Do it yourself. So there's a stop streaming and a stop recording. You can either do. You can do each. Other. Don't 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 press anything yet because you haven't said goodbye. Uh, yeah. So thank you. Uh, for, we need an outro for Road to Hell. Do we? Yeah. I feel like we should. You know what I mean. Our intro is fire. I like that intro yeah, I came I up actually, with. Actually, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um. But. Yeah. This is, that's it, guys. Um. On the we'll road figure again. out the. <laughs> We should have that as our outro song. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Nelson, bro. On the road again. Um, yeah, we should come up with an outro, though. We should have just elevator music theme. Well, I think it's like something that we say, you know, before the episode ends. Think of something. I came up with the intro. You come up with the outro, bro. Mm. All right, ladies and gents. You saw the way to the... Oh, fuck. You saw the way to the... I don't even know. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents. You saw the Road to Hell podcast, where we talk about everything from here to there. Uh, next week we have some topics such as Dude, no, no. why uh, why white people like money. Have a, have a great rest of your day. <laughs> <laughs>